Hey gang, welcome back to more excitement with members of the Florida Powerboat Club, this time featuring part two of full coverage of our Miami Boat Show Poker Run 24th edition, uh, running from Miami down to Key Largo on the heels of the international show. This show is presented by Mercury Racing, also sponsors and partners with us on the Project 1080. So here's a quick recap as we get you up to speed from the previous episode. Uh, it's the Thursday run of a four-day poker run, a Thursday run from Miami down to Key Largo. And where we left off on the last episode, we had a good group of boats, probably about 30 boats running on the Thursday group. We got them from Miami down to Coconut Grove. We picked up two poker cards. And when we left off, everyone was fast and furious, heading across Biscayne Bay southbound towards Key Largo for our lunch stop at Gilbert. So let's get back with the boats. Check out some high performance hardware here on the 24th edition of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run featuring members of the Florida Powerboat Club. This is Stu Jones, president of the club, and let's get back to our teams as we catch up now with Todd and Karen Whitman from Miami in their 38 foot cigarette top gun. Mercury Racing 525s, a great poker run boat. And uh, as I said in the last episode, they used to have a big Intrepid, a beautiful boat it was, but they wanted to go a little faster, and this was the answer for their need for speed. Now we're catching up with one of our international teams, uh, Rene Hoppe, all the way from Germany. We call them Team Germany 3. That's because 1 and 2 uh, have been on many events before, but they're going to stick with Team Germany 3. This is a Donzi 38ZR Comp. We call it a comp because it's a competition model. The same boat that raced back in the factory racing days in the late 90s and early millennium. And a very popular boat at the time, won a lot of championships, a very well-balanced boat, staggered setup, Mercury Racing 525s. It's a sit-down boat, so it's kind of a hot rod in the Donzi family, and he's got it dialed in and just kicking along nice here at about 70, 75 miles per hour. I want to say that this is probably one of the nicest, whoa! <laughs> Oh, that was a great one. Let's see that one again. Remember, we're in the Bay Area, so that must have been a rogue cruiser wake that caught him off guard, but he took a licking and kept on ticking. And now the chopper closes in on Matt Borsina and his first mate gone in this 36-foot right performance cat, a popular boat now from the Performance Boat Center Group, a very exclusive build. 36 foot now has a big brother, a 420 that just came out at the Miami Boat Show. Matt Borsina is really on a roll with this boat. Team Losi, been doing as many poker runs as he can since he upgraded from a 28 skater to this 36. Twin Mercury Racing 400 Rs. Doesn't get much better than this, guys. This cat runs all day long at 100 miles an hour and she looks great while she's doing it so good to have you back matt and we welcome back our sponsors deep impact from boats direct usa this is the deep impact 399 with four mercury 400 arborados and another big white center console this one's a fountain that's a new 38 uh, fountain center console another set of four mercury racing 400 r's this is a new member anthony Ogolo from long island new york his first poker run with the club and we also got a chance to see the big brother the new 43 nx center console at the miami boat show earlier we're going to have that boat on a future episode and we're now running with the jersey boys let's start off with doug and sherry falcone from new jersey here in this mercury racing powered 42 foot mystic center console this particular boat made its debut back at the Key West Poker Run 2018 uh, when Doug brought her down on the very first poker run, uh, brand new with four 400 R Verados. And the other half of the Jersey connection, of course, Tom Toto from Jersey, 42 foot MTI, slot V, uh, four 400 R Verados. In his video bio, Tom said that he loved Key Largo. It wasn't too far to ride and he loved those hotels. Uh, always enjoys the FPC runs whenever they work into his schedule. About his 42 MTI, he says it's very versatile, rides and handles great with a booming stereo. Well, Tom, nice to have you back on these FPC runs, uh, and congratulations on the new boat. It was a big move from the Outer Limits. Uh, and you mentioned that you like relaxing on the water with family and friends. Well, you got your son Alex on board, along with your buddies Pete Mazzo and Frank Esposito. So you're styling today, Tommy. Good to have you back, and thanks for all your support all of these years with the Florida Powerboat Club. And another longtime supporter of the club, Michael Caravetta, all the way from Ontario, Canada, and his 46-foot cigarette. They call it the Rough Rider model, and it's powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. It's a 2007, so that makes her about 12 years old, but I got a closer look at the dock earlier, and this boat is just pristine, so well-maintained. I love the graphics, and it was enough for me to give it the President's Choice Award 
for the best paint and graphics uh, on the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. So congratulations for the award, Mike. And I want to say this was a good move, uh, Mike. I think what he was trying to do was just get out of that, you know, turbulent water and get some better pictures. But looks like he ended up and I'm back in somebody else's wake. We always try to tell everyone to move away from the chopper and get out of these marble looking, you know, vapor trails from the other boats. It doesn't make for very good pictures. If you can get away into clean water, that's always the best thing to do. But it looks like uh, we're in the cutter bank or one of the channels here, so not much room to move. Same scenario here as we catch up to Anthony one more time. You know, the white boats on the white water just doesn't make for the best pictures, but there's really not a lot you can do right here. You know, we've got these channel marked areas that we have to go through safely. It's just a matter of timing as to when the helicopter comes down to get your pictures. And a special welcome back to Brian Molinax and the entire crew at Team Seakeeper on this 35-foot contender. It's their second year in a row as a feature sponsor of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. And the reason that they're here is to showcase this Seakeeper product. Uh, the one that they have installed in the 35 is really an entry-level model that is ideal for center console boats and really starting to become very popular in the fishing circles and, of course, on Poker Run boats. Now, we got a chance to get a demonstration a little later in the day because we jumped on board for the ride back from Key Largo. So we'll have more on Seakeeper just a little later in the show. It looks like it's time for lunch. Uh, we've got two locations today. Everyone had their choice. Of course, many of them tied up here at Gilbert's, a very popular stopover for the Florida Powerboat Club. But if you look really closely, you'll see all these new finger piers coming out. Uh, which are very new to Gilbert's. They've worked on these docks for quite some time. And this has changed the whole dynamic for us as far as docking for lunch. Gives everyone a chance to tie up to their own finger. And then when it's time to finish lunch, they can get in the boat and leave without having to uh, dig themselves out of a raft of eight or nine or 10 deep. So this has been a great improvement here at Gilbert's. We're happy that they're able to get their docks all redone. And this makes it a great facility for us. And here's our Midnight Express 60 tied up at the docks over at Sundowners, just about two miles away across Blackwater Sound. Uh, they've got a deep water basin here. Of course, also Team Black Diamond with the 52 MTI, the 34 Black Diamond Express, and the big six engine, six carat, 59-foot cigarette Tirana made it here for lunch as well. They were doing construction on the face dock, so we were unable to use it, but in the back basin, we were able to put at least 20 boats, so this made a great lunch stop. Love their menu and uh, their service here at Sundowners. They do a great job for the Florida Powerboat Club, so it's nice to have a backup location if you want to try something new. So we are going to say farewell to the group that made it to Key Largo. They're going to settle in. Meanwhile, we jumped on board with the Team Seakeeper with uh, Captain Brian Mullinax at the helm. Uh, and we really enjoyed riding back with these guys. You can see it was a beautiful day, uh, but it gave Brian a chance to demonstrate to us the features of their Seakeeper gyro stabilization unit, and it really does work. It keeps the boat so smooth uh, with no roll uh, and a really a stable ride uh, at any speed. So we really enjoyed that demonstration, and thanks for the ride back because we've got a lot of action here at Hallover Marine Center as the next group of boats prepares for the Friday departure uh, about another 30 teams altogether. So I believe we're starting to see this Miami Boat Show Poker Run uh, get back to its stronger numbers uh, like it once had. You know, back in the day, it was a 90, 95 boat event when we went to Holiday Isle Resort uh, in Isla Mirada. But the big challenge, of course, has been finding the most ideal marine resorts with plenty of docking and the kind of accommodations and services that you guys are looking for. And I think that we really found that with this new format using the two different resorts in Key Largo. Of course, it does make it one of the shortest runs uh, on the roster for the Florida Powerboat Club, but there's plenty of things that you can do down in Key Largo as well, so that seems to keep everybody busy. But enough about the poker run. The star of the show is, of course, Project 1080, 38-foot cigarette Top Gun, uh, partnered with Mercury Racing and an all-new set of Mercury Racing 540s. Of course, we've seen a lot of this boat in development over the last year uh, as we did this complete Resto Mod project over the last nine months. And we saw the Project 1080 make her debut in the last event, uh, the Winter Poker Run, down to the Florida Keys. But she's going to get a lot of exposure here on this event because it's a much bigger event. And I know a lot of people are seeing it for the very first time in the water. So I went searching for some love from my peers. How come you guys didn't go take pictures of that boat going in? That I awesome boat. Here. Come on. Compliment me, please. Well, <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. 
Looks good. Brand spanking new. There, see, everybody, everybody, what do you think about that uh, that new boat? What do you think there? Uh, it's pretty beautiful. Brand new, nice just came out of the factory. Nice shot on it. <laughs> Thank put you. Put some steps in it? <laughs> yeah, put some steps. I cut some steps in it. It looks great, Steve. Thank you, Raymond. <laughs> I'll say nice things about your boat, too, when I see it. <laughs> and before we get things cranked up here, we just want to thank our friends at Duffy's Sports Grill for hosting our captain's party and captain's meeting the night before, just about a half a mile up the waterway. And kicking things off here at the dock, it's two in a row for Ron Zolak and his 368 skater uh, with Mark D. Michelle riding along board today. And you're going to see a lot of repeat performances, a lot of people in town, and they want to do as many events as they can down to the Florida Keys. We just might see some teams here that we saw on the last event. As lovely, Marissa hands off her cards to Chrissy Sobo here, uh, representing the Nortec factory in this 39cc. Mr. John Lewis himself. The king of all over Marine Center. He's also drives the, the floor washer. He, he sleeps here. He lives and breathes this place. And he also does it just because he gets to do videotapes. He gets to do videos of these amazing hooks. That's the first time ever. A Nortec 3600 Supercat, re-rigged, re-powered with quad Mercury Racing Verano 400 cars.
Michael, who's riding with Kurt on the 450 Nortec. All right, guys, let's go. Well, I don't know about you guys, but for me, that was a lot of fun. I uh, love hanging out on the docks and getting a close-up uh, view of the crew, saying hi to them and watching them get their first poker card. I think there's a lot of energy, and you really feel the spirit of the teams as they get their first card and roll out here uh, into the Intracoastal Waterway. So what's going to happen now is we're just going to head south about a mile to the Hallover Inlet. We're not going to go out the cut yet uh, because the helicopter has just rendezvoused with us. We would kind of like to get everybody running together. So we're letting everybody get out of the marina and then make a slow ride here towards the cut. And here's our new pace boat uh, below us here. That pontoon boat is going to be our new pace boat for the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. <laughs> but hey, you never know. Those things are getting fast. Uh, but there's Hallover Inlet. What a beautiful day. You can see the weather has really cooperated. Very, very light winds in this beautiful February day. I think everyone's going to have a fantastic ride. And this shot here pretty much displays the eclectic mix of boats that we always have on these runs, but especially today because you've got, you know, high performance skaters there on the left that are going to run 140, 150. You've got fully decked out center consoles uh, with quads and triples that are going to be running, you know, 65, 70 miles per hour. A nice mix of what I would say classics, you know, old cigarettes, old Donzies. And speaking of old cigarettes, uh, where are we in this hall? There we are. Okay, yeah, we're the last off the dock. I don't think that I'm going to actually claim the title as an official pace boat for these runs anymore. I think we are happy with official chase boat because that seems to be what we're really good at is chasing the pack. Here's the rest of the pack just waiting for us to catch up and get everybody in order. Uh, I know the chopper is getting ready for some great aerials and I know that we're gonna be able to run offshore today. Remember in the last episode, it was so windy on Thursday that we all had to make that trek down through the protected waters on the Intracoastal. Uh, but today the conditions are ideal for an offshore ride and we're gonna get out through Hallover Inlet shortly and get everybody heading south down towards Government Cut. Just a few seconds before we launch here out of Hallover, let me remind everybody, especially participants, this is a good time to be on the radio and just check in with everyone. Remember that VHF radios are compulsory on all Florida Powerboat Club events, and we monitor Channel 78 at all times, but primarily at the start of the run, this is the best time to get your radio on, turn the volume up, and just listen to what is being said because we're usually staging or waiting for the helicopter to get that money shot. And what happens is the guys who don't monitor the radio and they get a little impatient and they decide to head out the cut before everyone else, what that does is that pretty much messes up our entire shooting strategy. And that is to have the helicopter milling over the inlet as the groups uh, fire up and throttle up together through the cut. So that's what we're going for here today. And this is the best time to be on the radio and also to get your life jackets out. Remember, we're mandatory PFDs. We're not gonna bend on safety, guys. There's no way about it. We have to wear life jackets, PFDs on these events. We're in the performance boat setting and this is the only way we do it. And it is time now for that money shot as the helicopter uh, just stages here at Hullover Inlet. Everyone on the throttles with a very safe exit. Uh, our Project 1080 right down the center and we're gonna be pace boat for about another four seconds because everyone's gonna pass us and head south <laughs> down the beach. But you know what guys, this is what we're here to do. We're here to have fun. We're here to enjoy the performance of these boats and I want you guys to go fast and I want you to enjoy you know, that adrenaline rush that you get when you're running out here in the ocean. And this is gonna be a lot of fun as we join this group heading offshore. Textbook move by Joe Castellano moving the boat out of the white water into the clean water for the aerial shots as he pushes the throttle. Guys, this is just how you want to do it. And look at just how nice he's got this skater dialed in. Altogether, nine skaters on this 54 boat roster. Not a bad representation for the skater brand out of Holland, Michigan. And of course, Joe Castellana and Joe Jr., a father and son team who come out to as many of these events as they can and always looking good with this beautiful skater of theirs. I love the paintwork on this boat. It is just spectacular. Take 
And another one of those nine skaters, Ron Zolak from Michigan, also from Florida, in this Skater 368 pair of Mercury Racing 1100s. Brought this boat for a little shakedown run on the Winter Poker Run a month earlier. Back out again uh, in February now, having a fun run down to the Keys with his friend Mark D. Michelle on board. I want to thank Ron and his buddy Chip Miller for their hospitality when we came up to visit them in Michigan this past summer. And now joining Chris Lamore here from New Jersey and his 36 skater. Got some big 700s, uh, and she's always running great. I'm going to back down a little, guys, because I want you to hear the power of these engines. Big shout out to Chris and his wife Quinn Lamar who couldn't join us for this run. Looking great and uh, joined today by Chris Ryder from Long Island. Uh, good show guys, good to have you on the run. Now let's welcome back Greg Harris and Yvonne Aylman. Uh, he's on the throttles, she's on the wheel. It's a 2009 32 skater, 3212 Mercury Racing 700s. And Yvonne tells me it's a unique boat because it's got an extra wide tunnel a two-foot tunnel extension, and it's all carbon fiber. What do they like about boating? Well, the camaraderie of the community. Good to have you guys back. Hope you're having fun on this run. And Yvonne reported in their video bio that they really loved Baker's Cay Resort in Key Largo. So for those of you who are skeptics, there you got it. If it's good enough for Yvonne, it's good enough for all of you guys. Okay, here's a cat that's not a skater. <laughs> 36 right performance cat, Matt Borsina, Team Low C, a pair of Mercury 400 Arvorados, and we saw a lot of Matt earlier in the show. He's actually enjoyed doing this run on the Thursday, and he came back and ran again on Friday. Not many people do that, but you know what? If you like to burn fuel, and of course these motors don't burn a lot of fuel, so maybe that's why he did it. But uh, most of the gang that ran yesterday stayed down in Key Largo overnight. Uh, looks like Matt figured out a way to come back and do it all over again. That worked out great for him because he got more chopper time. Now it's time for some V-bottom love as we catch up with this 46-foot cigarette Rough Rider. Just listen to these 1075s roar. And that's George Frigidis from Long Island, New York, his second cigarette. But this 46 Rough Rider is one of two here on this run, and that's kind of a rare occurrence. Nine cigarettes altogether on the roster for this event, and for having two of them as 46 Rough Riders with 1075s, uh, that's pretty unique. Great looking boat prepared by Pat Sullivan and his team over at the Performance Marine Trading Center in Fort Lauderdale. This is the same shop that rigged our Project 1080 38 Top Gun. And you've got to love these beautiful ocean conditions today. For those of you with nice TVs, look off in the background at that blue water out in the Gulf Stream. But we're running the coastal waters now as we head south and catch up with Kevin and Melissa Welsh here in their 35-foot cigarette. Kevin tells me that he just uh, recently repowered with Innovation Marine over in Bradenton, and he says the boat is running great. And for those of you who knew a lot about cigarettes, this was a very rare model, a 35 step bottom built in 2002. Nice shot there from the helicopter. But this was about the time that Skip Braver took over cigarette, and from that point on, pretty much all of the V-bottoms were step bottom hulls. And it's two Florida Powerboat Club events in a row for Kevin and Oksana Klein from Colorado. Let's hear the roar of those big teak 1200s. And 
And I do want to uh, give a shout out to Kevin uh, and let him know that everybody that watched the Winter Poker Run on YouTube, a lot of comments came back about this 43 and what a beast she is. So apparently the viewers are loving your boat, Kevin. Now let's say hi to Kurt Watkins, uh, who's from Fort Lauderdale and also from Michigan with his 45 Nortec 450 center console, five Mercury Racing 400s. What a beast. This is certainly, I won't say the flagship of the Nortec fleet, but, oh, there's a great shot. Uh, but uh, certainly she is going to be one of the most popular of their full line of center consoles. They're building a lot of these 45s. Kurt's also a skater. Guy's had a lot of fast boats, but seems like this 450 center console is suiting his lifestyle just fine. He's got all his buddies on board, including Andrew Rocco from Massachusetts, who bought Kurt's 52-foot skater a couple of years earlier. And let's welcome for their first poker run with the club, Stan and Nikki DiMartini from Boca Raton in their Bella Vita 53 Hydrosport center console. It's the very popular Suenos model powered by four Yamaha 425s. And uh, just look at the way this big beast crushes through the water. They weigh it close to 40,000 pounds fully loaded. So this is the boat you wanna be in when you're heading out into the Gulf Stream in six to seven foot seas. Now let's welcome Stephen Barker from New York with his 2004 43-foot Nortec powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. He's been a veteran of the Key West Offshore Poker Run, but it's his first time attending the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. He says he had a great time and he'll certainly attend again. And we saw this boat earlier getting a poker card. Raymond Roberts from Ontario, Team Double R Performance in a 3600 Nortec Super Cat. Uh, he's a Nortec dealer in Canada, does very, very well with the product line, but he's also a high performance nut. Uh, trust me, I know him very well. He loves going fast, and it was his idea to bolt these four Mercury 400Rs on a 3600 Super Cat. With the popularity of Mercury racing outboards, I'm sure you're gonna see Raymond build a few more of these 36 conversions. And here's one of my favorite shots of this episode as Project 1080 turns from Port Miami, leading the boats across to Virginia Key and the Rickenbacker Causeway. We're going to be out into the open waters of Biscayne Bay shortly as we head southbound towards Key Largo. And as we promised in our last episode, uh, a lot of hype about this boat, this new 59-foot cigarette Tirana, which was a big headliner at the Miami International Boat Show with hundreds and or even thousands of people stopping by to check her out. Now, she's part of the new team Black Diamond family. Uh, and, of course, Black Diamond has been a big part of our family here at the Florida Powerboat Club for many years. Derek Walkup and his team, Captain John Teague uh, from Destin, Florida, uh, in the cockpit here. Of course, you can't see them because... They're buried into that little cockpit <laughs> with the air conditioning running full blast, I'm sure. Uh, their only open boat is this Black Diamond Express off to the left. Uh, but we set this up for you guys as a special segment in the show. Uh, we arranged all of this in advance uh, because they wanted to get a very special photo shoot done with their new boat with the six carat. Uh, which was rigged with six Mercury Racing 400Rs. Of course, the Black Diamond 52 MTI has been a big showstopper on our Poker Run events for the last, oh, probably four years. And it wasn't Derek's first MTI. He's owned several prior to that. But here they are now, all three of them running together. Of course, the two cats are holding back on the throttles because that big Tirana is certainly not going to be that kind of a speed demon. She's going to be running in the low 70s, apparently, with the current power, the six 400s, but uh, this of course was in February, just a few months later with the introduction of the new Mercury Racing 450R Verado. Uh, of course, six carat, we all know, got six of those and was the showstopper in Nashville at the unveiling of the new Mercury Racing 450. So that apparently added about 10 miles an hour to that big 59. I'm not sure how heavy the boat is, but she performs very well now, up to 82 miles per hour. Of course, we all know that that 52 MTI in the middle can run at least 100 in front of that. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the big black boat on the right goes 82, while the one in the middle goes about 182. 
So that just puts things in perspective, guys. I can't think of a better way to close out episode two with feature coverage of the 2019 edition of Florida Power Boat Club's Miami Boat Show Poker Run than to leave you all with this beautiful shot of these three boats cruising across Biscayne Bay heading towards Key Largo. I want to thank this team for their continued support of our club. They've been a great bunch of guys to hang out with and very supportive of our organization and all of the efforts we put forward uh, towards safety management and providing a quality VIP experience. So thanks, guys. Uh, Team Black Diamond, uh, Team Six Carat, and Black Diamond Express. You can follow them on Instagram. They have a lot of great content, at Team Black Diamond. So let's just close out this episode. There's plenty more to come. We've got episodes three and four in the pipeline here on our YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe, guys, and click that notification bell so you know every time a new episode comes out here on YouTube. This episode is presented by Mercury Racing. Thanks to all of our sponsors and to all of our participants for making this a wonderful Miami Boat Show poker run. This is Stu Jones. More to come on our next episode. Thanks for watching, and remember to always wear your life jackets. We'll see you next time. <laughs>